So it's a lovely wet spring day here in southwest Minnesota. Today we're adding an intake pipe to a furnace. This system doesn't have a single pipe or is currently set up as a single pipe and the basement is wet and has enough like corrosive gases in the basement that the burners get corroded very quickly that and moisture um, so it's just not been very good for the furnace so the furnace in question is this old Goodman right here and it has a spot for an intake but it was just single pipe so it's just been burning the combustion air in this basement and I don't know if it's we've got some like sewer gas or maybe laundry gases in the air but basically it's been not great for the burners so we've got a new set of burners we're gonna run a second pipe up over and out so we're gonna cut our hole right here so we'll be using the Milwaukee fuel hole hog that is a really fantastic tool whoever put this in actually drilled a hole to run a second pipe and then opted not to. So maybe we should actually just go with right there. I think that's what we'll do. So I was pretty much gonna use the same strapping method as what's here, um, but where I'm trying to run on the screw, it's like super rotted. I can just poke my screwdriver st straight in like a good three quarters of an inch. So. Somehow he was lucky and it's solid over here, but rotted out right here. So we're actually going to have to go against by uh, this stud. Well, the square guy's starting to crack through. It looks a little bit, a little bit on the soft side as well. I want to use a longer screw for going through the wood. So because this Goodman furnace has both of the vents like in line with each other, we're going to have to use a 45, straight 45 offset in order to jog this over and then run up and down. 15 and a half inch piece. Your burning tool here and clean, clean that up. Now depending on who you talk to, some people will say that you should glue all of the intake pipes and others will say that it's fine to leave them unglued. Uh, I personally am in the unglued camp because uh, it doesn't matter if a little bit of air leaks into this pipe. This pipe is always going to be drawing in outside air. Um, the only instances where it might be good to have it glued would be if you put it into a ceiling. So any moisture that might get in the pipe could potentially drip on this sheetrock. Then you definitely want to glue everything at least back to where the furnace is. Um, but other than that, I don't really know of any compelling arguments for gluing. Um, except for if it's like in an area where it could get knocked down really easily or the pipes kind of fall apart. But if you have good strapping and the fittings seem pretty tight when you put them together, then I really don't think that there's any need to be gluing them. It makes it a lot nicer for servicing if they get full of ice or for um, down the road replacement of the furnace. And it looks to me like this installation here is going to be a good candidate for leaving unglued because we've got a good strap here we have a little bit of tension from where it's pushing on here and everything's going to hold together well we'll add another strap right here probably um, but then i think it'll be really quite nice i don't think there's any reason to actually glue all of these fittings together uh, next we're going to throw in those new burners and i'll show you what the old ones look like so it is actually running you can see there's quite a bit of like crusty stuff on the heat exchanger well you can see that but we'll go ahead and shut this thing off thankfully it's pretty simple we just got to pull these four screws pop this out and then each of these lift out I that's the one thing I really love about Goodman is they've got a really good burner design the flame sensor on some of the Goodmans is mounted here so you can actually get at that screw which is really nice but not on this one there's our new burner pull the crusty one out so now this furnace will be drawing in the outside air and just burning clean outside air. It won't be burning any of this damp basement air, which is, as I said before, going to be a lot better for the furnace. Um, oftentimes when you have a single pipe system, it's not really a problem. The air in the basement is either exchanged enough from the house being leaky or uh, they don't really have any traps running dry, so there's no sewer gas. 
and it doesn't really affect the furnace. But other places like shops or if your furnace is in a laundry room or in a house that has a lot of, you know, sewer gas or basically volatile organic compounds floating around, then you're going to want to have a dual pipe system. So this one should have been dual pipe when it got put in originally, but it wasn't and now it is. So it'll be a lot better going forward. Get it nicely siliconed around there so I don't have any air leakage. Got it supported right there. And yeah, should be good to go. Double check the slope and we're looking good. Also did turn on the thermostat to make sure that this thing would work fine with the new burners, which it is working beautifully. So we're good there. So the intake pipe we're just gonna have 90 down like this straight toward the ground so it's gonna be sucking fresh air up like that but that means we have to change the exhaust to go up like this and what that does is it always puts the exhaust up higher you want to have at least 12 inches between where your exhaust is and where your intake is right there so uh, there's also debate about whether or not you should glue those fittings and again I'm in the camp of do not glue them and that's because if you glue these and you need to service them then you're always going to have to cut them off with the sawzall and throw them away. So if we do get snow or frost in here or this ice is up a little bit you can just pop these off and clean the ice out of them and then slap them back on. And they usually don't get blown off or knocked off. They can of course since they're not glued. But that's just been my general experience and preference. So yeah, we're good to go on that. Anyway, hope that you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you in the next one. Not sure who did the plumbing for this house, but this is pretty funny. They just ran soft copper for the water lines. And they just kind of ran them how they felt like, I guess. <laughs> kind of unique.